What is going on, Scorpio? It's your girl, Touche B336 Tarot here. I hope y'all are having a fantastic day. What it do, what is good. All right. Uh, yes, what is good? Coming through for my Scorpios to see what y'all got going on. What are we dealing with? What are we working with today? Right. We going to go ahead and tap in with Spirit Nim, the Ancestors Nim, Scorpio. See what we got going. All right. So let's go. Let's get this thing going. Spirit, spirit guys, ancestors and angels are the highest and purest light vibration and energy. Come through for my Scorpios. What do we need to know, Scorpio? Let's go, let's go, let's go. These are the cards they told me to pick up, so this is what we're going with. All right. I'm trying up a new format for you guys. I kind of have done it for a few signs. So we are good look. We're going with it. We are going with it, Scorpio. So let's see what else we have for y'all. All right. While I'm shuffling and getting y'all's oracle cards out here, if you have not already, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It greatly helps me, and I appreciate y'all. All right. Very good. Very good. So let's see what else we have. They're telling me I need to get four cards for y'all. I don't know. I had they hadn't said that before. Like four different types of cards. Um, I don't know. We gonna go with it, right? Because that's what spirit them love. <laughs> I just tell you what spirit love. All right. What else do we have for my Scorpios? All right. And then they said no. Not those. They said Spirit Journey Oracles. Okay, very good. We're going with it. Scorpio, Neum, <laughs> listening to your signs and, and, and synchronicities and stuff. You got to listen to yourself, child. Got to listen to your intuition. Y'all know how intuitive y'all are, Scorpio, Neum. All right. Let's see what we have for y'all. I hope y'all again are having a fantastic day. Oh, that's a pretty bird. Um. Uh-oh. Wait a minute, y'all. I got stuff falling all over the place. I don't look. All right. So let's go. Let's see what we got, Scorpio. So again, they told me I needed four cards for this. Don't know why, but hey, it is what it is. So let's go ahead and see what we got. So the first card you guys to have to come out is the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Um Maybe getting some messages, maybe getting some information, especially around this new moon. I'm sorry, full moon in Aries that is coming up on the 20th. The next card you guys have to come out is joyous, fun. Everybody has been getting this message. I even did a, a short TikTok about it as well. We got to have some fun, right? You have to have some fun. Um, we have to infuse some fun into our lives. Next card is don't dim to fit in. This card says, how are you dimming your light in order to fit in? And then you have karmic lessons. This card says souls incarnate into the human experience to resolve past life experiences, work through any painful lessons and turn them into an opportunity for growth okay so what they are showing me on this you guys yes have some fun insert that into your everyday life learning lessons they're saying like this full moon at the end of this full moon or they're actually just showing me like jupiter because jupiter is going direct on the 20th um i'm sorry the 18th as well as mercury both going direct on the 18th so it's like wrapping up these karmic cycles, wrapping up um, these lessons that you have learned. How are you dimming your light? How are you not showing up for yourself? How are you How are you um, wearing a mask is what they just said, right? They brought me to this full moon in Gemini. How, are you wearing a mask trying to fit in, dimming your light? Are you not? How are you not showing up for yourself? How are you not listening to your intuition? They're showing me, they're pointing out this um, this third eye on this card how are you are you not listening to your intuition the of course the moon is all about our intuition so they are saying no you you have to listen to yourself you have to listen to your intuition um they're wanting you to realize that you are wrapping up karmic cycles okay 
Next card to come in is your hard work is paying off, new moon and Capricorn. Then you have hidden motivations on this card. It's a castle back here. Um, this is an intention card, setting intentions, okay? The next card you have to come out is Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic, Teacher, and then you have the Seeker card, okay? This card says, yearning for knowledge, you are a student of life with a strong curiosity for a deeper meaning. So what they are showing me on this, you guys, is You've worked really hard to get where you are, okay, Scorpio? You have worked really hard. You've done a lot of work, but they're wanting you to incorporate some fun into your life as well, right? They are saying um, be mindful of people who or or having hit who have hidden motive, who have hidden intentions, or um, if you have been wondering if someone has like hidden intentions, what they are truly here to do, they are saying tap in with your intuition. And that is what is going to let you know if this person is actually being real with you or not. Right. Because um, your intuition is going to guide you is what they just said. They are saying tap into your spirituality, tap into trusting yourself. The answers that you need are going to come from your intuition right the answers that you are seeking in regards to your next step what you need to do try to win try <laughs> listen it don't mind um you can find them by going within right get the, the way out is in is what they just said which is basically self-reflection the hermit they just showed me self-reflection going within really talking to and tapping in with yourself okay um, they want you to make sure that you're setting intentions. You might have to set some intentions around having fun, but the answers that you want, the answers that you need are coming. Okay. They want, they're bringing me to this. Don't fit in and hidden motivations. Don't dim your light. Don't change who you are is what they just said. Be your best self, be your most authentic self. And if someone is trying to force you to be what they want you to be, they're saying, nah, we ain't doing that, right? We ain't got time. We, we ain't here for that, okay? The next card to come in is meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. Then we have great achievement coming out, okay? We have birthing a new age. This card says birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being and new outlook. All right. Sometimes we cannot see things for what they are. Examine this situation from another angle to see something differently. OK, so they're saying tap in, meditate, listen to yourself. Right. That's what we were talking about in the very beginning. Tap in with your intuition. That is where your answers are going to come from. You have to quiet your mind, listen to yourself, and understand that the answers you need are not, you're not going to find them outside of yourself. You are actually going to find them within yourself. Remember, they showed me the way out is in, right? Listening to your, to, to your higher self, listening to your spirit guides, your ancestors, your angels, spirit in them, right? You have to listen. You are creating a new life for yourself, You, but they need you to meditate and, and really um, understand and believe is what they just said. Believe that the things that you, the intentions that you are setting, they are coming to fruition. But if you don't believe it, it's not going to happen. Intention is nothing without belief and faith, right? Trusting in the unknown. You, they're wanting you to seek higher knowledge is what they just said, but, and, and, and really reconnect and get to know you. They are wanting you to, they just said like crystals, use some crystals to help you stay grounded is what they just said. Um, dream big, dream your life into existence, bring it, bring it from a place of dreaming about it into a place of actually making it happen for yourself because you have the power to do that. All right. They want you to have a new outlook. They want you to understand that your, your hard work is paying off. You are the, and the answers you need are coming. Okay. 
they're drawing my attention to this this deer or stag on here um know your worth know your power if you're trying to manifest a home they, they're saying that's on the way too they just showed me the castle that is on this car you just have to step through the portal of belief is what they just said step through and own your your personal power own that your intuition is actually speaking to you is what they just said all right now very good very good scorpio all right what else do we have y'all am i pulling four cards no they said i'm only pulling three cards okay so for each row <laughs> and the ass child because they i hadn't had to pull come on scorpio nim look i can't okay okay <laughs> okay listen scorpio a change is coming and the change is actually really really good right bottom of the deck you have the page of pentacles reversals no revert page of pentacles news coming in new opportunities coming in messages coming in regarding your finances is what they just said um let me get my cards in order child because they they said no reverse souls no reverse souls all right here we go let's go uh scorpio so the first card you have to come out is the star followed by the strength card followed by the six of cups okay so let's see let's let's talk about what we got going on healing healing right healing yourself finding your personal strength think karmic lessons right this is what they were they drew me first karmic lessons the becoming of things that you have dealt with from the past that are, are coming back up you had to experience these things in order to grow is what they just said and the, the main karmic lesson they're, they're telling me that you need to um, come back to is owning and knowing your personal strength. All right. Don't be afraid to fit in. You have to know your strength. You have to know your power. Step back into your power is what they are saying. Your power lies in your visions. Your power lies in your knowing who you are. Your power lies in your healing, right? Your growth, your self-development. They're wanting you to tap back into all of these things. Continue to work on yourself. Continue to be strong. Be courageous. Don't be afraid of your healing. Don't be afraid of your gifts is also what they just said, right? Next to come out, you have, wait a minute, the Eight of Pentacles. You have the Ace of Wands and you have the Queen of Pentacles, okay? This is being very firmly rooted, grounded, taking care of yourself self-development right the eight of pentacles is coming up with this hidden motivations card so what they are saying is listen continue to work on yourself your hard work is paying off the eight of pentacles for me is a card of hard work dedication it is a card of mastery apprenticeship of course um but really realizing that you are creating the life that you want you are creating the life that you desire right they want you to re get motivated, get your, get, your, get your mojo back, right? Get your mojo back and get into the flow of what it is that you are trying to create and understand that faith without works is dead. Is that how that go? I don't know. They just popped that in my head, <laughs> okay? Very good, Nim. Next card to come out, you have the Ace of Wands with Sisterhood of the Rose. Again, they're drawing my attention back to the third eye. They are wanting you to listen, and, and this card says priestess, mystic, teacher, okay? You have the Eight of Pentacles that's showing up here. This is you reconnecting with your intuition, using your third eye to see your visions, using your third eye to see where how you are moving forward. That's where your power lies. That's where your strength lies, right? Listening to your heart space, listening to what is best for you and not listening to outside people right it's like you are yearning to know the answer and what they're also saying is you have to trust in the unknown you have to trust and give it over to spirit spirit is going to spirit name the ancestors name they the way is going to may be shown to you okay you have the queen of pentacles coming up with seeker and what they are saying is make sure that you staying grounded okay scorpio make sure that you're aligning with self aligning with your goals aligning what um with your intentions 
if you are not mad, if you're not ready for your intentions to come in, they ain't coming, child. They just said divine timing, right? You have to give things time to happen and move forward. You have to let fear them work and the ancestors them work. You have to let that happen in order for these changes to come in, okay? Next, you have the tower, right? You also have the five of pentacles and the justice card, okay? So this is the way that you, okay, one of the changes that needs to happen, something that needs to be achieved is the way that you are thinking. If you, if you are thinking that you don't have enough, if you are thinking that things are not going to come to fruition, you're not going to be able to accomplish your goals. This is what needs to change. D justice is coming through saying have a new outlook it the scales are going to be balanced you have to stay balanced you have to stay grounded all right you have to have a new outlook you cannot continue to feel like you are in this um out in the cold five of pentacles mentality right you have to step away from that and start and start really believing in your manifestations that and that they can, can come to fruition look on this five of pentacles, the key is right there. You hold the key. All she has to do is look up and see like, hey, at any point you can step through this door. At any point, right? At any point you can step through this door. It's a change in thinking that's required. It's a change in the way you're talking to yourself. It's a change in, you can set intentions all day, but if you don't believe that the intentions are going to manifest, guess what? They are not going to right? You have to believe in this. Believe in yourself is what they're showing me on this strength card. Believe in your prosperity. Believe in your abundance. Believe, believe that things are actually going to work out for you, right? You have to believe it. If you don't believe it, spirit's going to have a hard time trying to bring in something and you don't even believe it yourself. Message them, okay? believe in your strength they are saying to me you are a manifester you can bring this in you are very tapped in with the metaphysics and the occult things like that your intuition like this is your strong suit you have two eight cards here which of course eight is scorpio karma um abundance these are the things that are coming in this is the 17 you also have the, the star which 17 breaks down to the number eight this is believe in your healing, believe in your manifestations. They're saying that again, they're saying also have some fun because in, in having fun, you will find that the messages that you are receiving or that you've been, the answers that you've been seeking, what the answers you're looking for may just come to you at times when you are actually just having fun and just enjoying life and just trusting in spirit right and and the ancestors them spirit them angels them all of them they are going to bring you these random hits of information is what they are showing me on this tower card with the lightning striking the top of the tower transformation is happening right you are transforming they're bringing me to these acorns that is on that are on this tower card plant new seeds J check on the seeds you didn't already plant a child check on the seeds and the intentions that you have already set right anything else on this spirit now they're bringing me back to the butterflies again understand that you are this is a process you are going through a period of transformation going through an awakening starting to see things from a different light um letting go of karmic lessons karmic people karmic relationships things from the past the skit it's like they want you to make sure that you're staying balanced in your energy with your resources and your healing okay anything else on here they just said again the answers you're looking for they coming child they are coming you just have to believe and i am going to while i'm looking and making sure i didn't miss anything for y'all scorpio anything else nope balancing out the scales things are coming to fruition hard work paying off um yeah that's all they got karmic lessons hard lessons being learned but they said that you're doing a great job yes you haven't it's it's tough it's hard y'all it really is it is hard but they are saying stay faithful 
with this star card. Stay faithful, stay be and, and make sure that you're believing in yourself and that you can accomplish what you're setting out to do. Meditate. If you've fallen off of your meditation practices, re reestablish that. Get back into the habit of doing that, okay? Your strength, your inner strength, your power. Are you a leader or a follower? They just said with this strength card, right? Because there's like a lamb on here. Speak your truth is what they also just said. Speak your truth. Know who you are. Um, as a Scorpio, y'all should, you know, y'all can delve into metaphysics and the 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 woo woo stuff, right? <laughs> and they're wanting you to. Um, if you feel the call to do that, they are wanting you to do that. All right. So let's see what we have going on for Scorpio as a final card. I'm giving y'all a spirit animal oracle and the card that you have to come out is Raven. This says you are the creator and magician. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as a keeper of the mysteries, right? They're bringing me back to this, this sisterhood of the rose card. Mystic, priestess, teacher, step into this power, right? The ancestors name showing up, right? With, with, the, with the ravens or crows is one of, the, one of my, the ways my ancestors communicate with me. So that may be a significant for you. If you are seeing crows or ravens, um, you may have some hidden shamanic talents, right? Connecting with animals, connecting with nature. They are saying, step into this. This may be your spirit totem, okay? The raven or the, uh, the crow is what they just said. Delve deeper into the mysteries of light. life. Seek this knowledge out, okay? Hey, get a new outlook on your life. All right. Very good, Scorpio Nim. I hope this was helpful for y'all. Um, if you haven't, again, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate y'all. Your girl, Touche B, sending love, light, and healing energy as always, my sunshine self. All right, Scorpio, I will see y'all next time. Y'all have a fantastic rest of this retrograde, okay? And we got this. We almost done, y'all. We almost done. All right, y'all be easy. Have a good one. Bye.